Hey guys, Mars Naked here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we have the EZA for the Prime Battle Kid Gohan is released on Global. And we are going to take a look at him over here. Um, I don't really even remember what his reception was on JP, uh, whether people considered him to be any good or not. It's always interesting when stuff comes out around this time on Global as well, because of course, whilst the anniversary is kind of a ways away for us, we obviously know it exists. We know about all the events that are coming out. We know about like the meta shift and things like that. So as characters start to come out around this time on Global, I guess you could say they uh, are judged a little bit more harshly because whilst the anniversary content isn't out for us yet, if this guy is not going to be good enough for that kind of content, it's kind of funny that his EZA comes out now and then will not see much use. So like I say, I don't remember much about how he was received on JP, but we have him all link leveled ready to go. Um, he does have a exploding rage lead for key and 150%. Then his super attacks, the 12 key is just colossal damage to the enemy and greatly lowers attack. The 18 key is raise attack and defense for one turn, mega colossal and massively lowers defense. So obviously very important to get that 18 key super so that he gets the uh, defense raise for the turn. He gets 4 key attack and defense 59% when there is an ally whose name includes Goku uh, on the team, which we do. Um, he gets an additional 4 key and attack and defense 59%. Uh, attacking in this if the ally is attacking in the same turn then he gets an additional attack and defense 58% when performing a super additional attack and defense 58% and a high chance to crit when performing an ultra super key 12 when HP is 58% or less performs a critical hit if HP is 58% or less when performing an ultra super attack and defense 58% and reduce damage received by 58% when HP is 58% or less once only now the thing is I feel like he probably wouldn't be that busted anyway, because he's free to play, obviously, with free to play stats. If he just had the 58% damage reduction all the time, I feel like you could probably consider him to be a decent enough unit to run. But 58% damage reduction is once only when you're below 58% HP, so. So we're getting all of his start of turn stat buffs. We do have a Goku on the rotation. So he's going to get two 58% on super buffs. Now, I don't know, on super buffs are normally multiplicative, but I don't know if they're calculated separately, right? Like, if he gets 58% on super, and then 58% on ultra super, does that mean he gets 58%, which would jump this up to, what, it's going to be about 230? And then does he get 58% of that, or is it the same 58% buff? Because um, then he's looking at around 400k, he has the 30% from his super attack effect, so that means we're, we're only really looking at most him getting 500k defense after getting an 18 key super. Which, like I say, if he had that 58% damage reduction all the time, then that would actually be kind of like kind of good. Not anything crazy, but, you know, he could be kind of runnable at that point. Also, this is a very funny rotation for turn one because he has zero links active. So to be fair, that 158k defense, that is the lowest... Um, you know, defense that we're going to see him at. Although I suppose we do have support from Bardock on the rotation. So he is getting a little bit of support in lieu of actually getting any links. But we'll see how uh, see how he does here with the first attack. I didn't give him any, pretty much any crit in the hidden potential because he does have 50% chance to crit on Ultra Super, which shouldn't be too difficult to get because some of his best link partners are Goku units. Uh, he has all in the family, which is a really good defensive link. So you're pretty much always going to be getting that high chance to crit on Ultra Super. So it's not like he needs a huge amount more than that. So I mean, to be fair, 6 mil for the first attack stat. Now a couple of things to consider. Free to play, of course. But zero links active. And we know just how impactful links are, right, when it comes to these boosts. Characters can get huge increases from having links active right so six million with no links active is not terrible the unit we want to get him linked up with is this kai goku so we're going to float him off here grab these for you means no build up for him just yet but that's fine we'll get him floated off but yeah, the Saiyan day, it would be super good, like you say, because they are Saiyans, um, and maybe that's why they chose that number, right? But yeah, Broly and Trunks need 318 medals to awaken. 318 is, of course, like the Saiyan day thing. So with not only the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Super Easy A coming to both versions at the same time, 
Um, it would be super cool if they got an easy A uh, on same day, same time for both versions. That would be super cool, but we shall see. Um, like I say, it makes sense to me for them to accelerate the release. I mentioned this in a previous video already, but like JP had two months between each of the phases of that card awakening all the way up to LR, whereas Global, they reduced it to one month between each step so that now we have them. They came out very recently, which means they got them out just in time for Saiyan Day. So the idea of them being a same time release for Saiyan Day, I think makes perfect sense, but... Right, so at least with Kid Goku here, we've got All in the Family, which is a pretty good link, level 10, 20% defense. Uh, the Innocence gives us 15% attack, and then In Fighter is 15% attack as well. So we've got a lot of extra stats here. Kid Goku is also a youth support unit for 50%, so as you can see, we're starting the turn now at 200k defense. The 58% on each super is going to be at least 100k, right, the first one. And then if it is multiplicative, the second one will be over 150. So then with the super attack effect, we are well clear of the 500k defense, which is, again, decent. Nothing super crazy, but... Um, so we'll go ahead and do this. This, and then there we go. We can get the orbs for you as well. Get the little bit of extra damage reduction for everybody. Didn't get the guard for Goku, but I mean, he's got type advantage in this phase anyway and still gets the extra dodge, so he dodged both the attacks. Shout out, as always, to the global exclusive Limit uh, Breaker second form cell. I wonder if they will ever fix it or if they just don't care. So yeah, 8.2 mil. So Goku, uh, Kid Goku gives a little bit of extra support compared to Bardock, but you can see the difference there with the links, right? And there's the crit. So the crit coming through from the high chance on the ultra super. Because like I say, mine has like 8 crit and then all the rest is additional and dodge. He has 11 dodge and I think 15 additional. Um, you don't need to give him any crit. Because he's a free to play unit. If you had his build um, different before his easy A, you could always just replay the first stage of his prime battle thing. So you can get a couple more copies of the card drop and then use those to fix the hidden potential. I could have done that before the showcase, but realistically all I would have done is change one of the um, the crit node that he has. Because he has level 5 crit anyway from being an STR unit. So the only other thing I would have done is change the um, change one of his the uh, one single crit node that he has to... Um, I think it's a crit or dodge one, so it would have just been dodge. Which is not going to make a huge impact for this showcase anyway, right? So... Yeah, the 58% damage reduction is once only, when you're at 58% or less HP, which is crazy. Like I say, with, if he's only hitting after getting an 18 key super with support, if he's only getting up to 500k defense, then like, having that 58% damage reduction all the time, he'd still die to some of the new big boss like super attacks, but that would put him in a pretty good spot in terms of being good defensively. And if he's dropping like an 8 mil attack stat, that's nothing crazy, but again, still good, especially if his defense is good enough for him to be tanking. But this is the rotation that I wanted. So with the Kai Goku, you see we have four links, all in the family, Saiyan Warrior Race, In Fighter, and Legendary Power. So not bad. No support on this rotation, though. So we'll go ahead and do this. And then grab these and grab these. Now, of course, this cell could just super this Gohan immediately. So we'll see how well he's going to do here. I can't remember how hard this cell hits for, but he does also have type advantage. So it could be pretty bad for us. I'm sure he'll super Goku. Oh, nice. <laughs> I always forget about this guy having a key blast super nullification. Let's go. It's not even a nullification. It's a straight up counter because it does damage. You love to see that. And then Gohan 7.6. I mean, again, like, for a free-to-play unit, like, that's not bad attack stats. And his raw defense number is not terrible. There's the crit as well. So, and he tanks the normals for double digits, despite the uh, thing. If you're at 58% or below, it's on not for one turn. And let me reread it again, because I'm pretty sure it says once only. Yeah. He has extra stats if you're at 58% or less, but... I wonder if we'll get to see that, because we do need to actually take some damage, but...
Where's the SBR Gohan's passive better than this one? Well, yeah, exactly. He's a super, he's a technically a free to play card, even though he's a reward from Super Battle Road. He's a free to play card that his EZA was what? Easily over a year or two ago. And he gets guaranteed damage reduction as long as there's a Goku on rotation. So why doesn't this guy have that? You could make it like, because he has so many other Goku conditions. Firstly, they could have just made the 58% on all the time, the damage reduction. But imagine if it was like, if you're under 58% HP, or just all the time if there's a Goku on the rotation. Because he already wants a Goku on rotation with him anyway to get one of his other stat buffs. I feel like that could have made him really good. Because with like for around 500k defense post super and then 58% damage reduction, the bosses that we have in the current meta on global, I think he would survive most or like all of their supers i don't know how much omegas actually hits for because it has the lower defense but zamasu of course the second phase is physical so that would be beneficial for that gohan as well um but yeah if we take a look here let me just double check it again yeah attack and defense 58 percent and reduce damage received by 58 percent when hp is 58 percent or less once only <laughs> now that's just crazy and then, yeah, he gets key 12 um, when HP is 58% or less. And then he gets a guaranteed crit at 58% or less HP if you do an ultra super. But the actual stat buff and the damage reduction is once only. So that is a little bit disappointing, to say the least. Um, all right, so let's do this. I need to make sure we actually get the super for Bardock, so we'll do that. Now, Goku should tank this relatively well. It's not a Key Blast Super, so he's not going to counter it. But... I mean, ideally, I want to lose some HP, because I would like to see that 58% or less turn. But... All right, Kai Goku. I, only, I managed to get Dutes for Kai Goku when he came back on the Omega Banner. I'd only have him, had him at 55% like from the anniversary. And now he's at 90. So yeah, 8.2 with the links with Kai Goku and then the Bardock support. Again, that's pretty good with built-in 50% chance to crit. Like, obviously the caveat, like, for a free-to-play unit. But yeah, not bad. The defense is all right in terms of raw defense. But yeah, it's just going to be a case of he's not going to be um, doing anything super impressive in terms of defensively against the biggest bosses. But, you know... I think we might be alright, as long as we don't get supered. I can't get the orbs for God Goku, which means we uh, are not going to have the guard. But we've built up our defense a little bit. I suppose it doesn't matter, actually. His health's so low, he's just going to die. That'll be the problem, of course. In the in the difficult events, it'll be much easier to drop below 58% HP. But then in the more difficult events, are you really going to be bringing this kid Gohan? It's kind of the, the big question. Because obviously he gets so much defense on super, like he won't be good against AoEs. Like, if we decided straight after this to jump into, um, like, Fusion Samasu. Like, look at his first turn. Like, start of turn defense with five links active. He has 200k. Which means that a the in Samasu's AoEs are going to do, like, 300k damage to him. <laughs> so, the events where it's very easy to drop below that HP threshold, you're not going to want to take him into because he's going to get killed. So... That's a little bit unfortunate. We can get the seven orbs as well. So let's see how well he tanks the STR cell. We've got the full 24 key. Not that we get any sort of buff from that or anything, but Kai Goku up to 10 mil as well. Let's go. He gets the 200% lead from physical God Goku. So yeah, not bad. Not bad for Kai Goku here. You know, Jay Fanta had problems because Tech World Tournament Goku is the only one on Exploding Rage free to play. Yeah, the free-to-play team for him, I guess, wouldn't be that great. 11.5. Damn. That's with Lynx active and having that 50% support buff. So, I mean, that is pretty good. And then, finally, we get an additional for the 12 key. We actually get to see the 12 key super. I like that super attack animation. And that was 6.2. So, I mean, that was almost... That was, like, almost 20 million attacks that worth of attack from that free-to-play kid Gohan. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um... Like I say, his defense isn't going to be anything crazy, but... Also, speaking of not crazy defense, if this kid Goku gets super attacked, we might actually die. Although we got the damage reduction and his orbs, yeah. We're all good. 
Um, well, there's no way... There is absolutely no way Cell survives this turn, so... Let's go ahead and get the... Uh, let's go ahead and get the special beam cannon in here, shall we? Because, yeah, between the three of these guys on this turn and with the support, there's no way Cell was surviving this turn, so... We didn't get to see the under 58% HP turn, but an extra 58% stats he's going to be dropping. On average, we saw his turns being at like 8 mil. So that means he's going up between like 11 to 12 on that turn below 50% HP. But it's the once only is the kicker. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Um, as I've said already, right, I definitely think that just giving him the 58% damage reduction all the time... That doesn't make him suddenly like, you know, oh, he's now a must-run unit on this God Goku team. But it makes him actually very runnable for the difficult content on Global. Even like we said with Fusion Zamasu, um, attacking in turn one, if this Goku, if this uh, Gohan had 58% damage reduction, that drops those AoEs down to just under 250k. And then if his start of turn defense with support is 200k, then he's at least tanking those normals for less than 100k which is still not crazy but again bearing in mind he's a free to play unit so i think that 58 percent damage reduction would have been really good for this current climate on global it would have made him very runnable and then when the anniversary content starts coming out then obviously some of the bigger bosses will still be would still be absolutely destroying him but he would still be usable in some of those stages especially against physical bosses so, honestly, uh, he's better than I expected. I wasn't really expecting much. I always have to temper my expectations and be careful how I uh, how I comment on these units when they're free to play. Because if I, a lot of the time, if I uh, criticise them too much, people are quick to point out that they're just free to play units. But at the same time, like, as someone obviously who doesn't need to use free to play units, that's always going to be my kind of slant on my objective, like, my opinion on these units, right? Because if they're not runnable like on this kind of team build if i was going to run this team in a difficult event if gohan's not runnable then i'm just i'm not ever going to use him right so i like to try and judge free to play units based on the meta as opposed to i'm not trying to directly compare them to summonable units because they're pretty much always going to be worse although of course sometimes you know we get the odd anomaly where we get a really, really good free-to-play unit like that physical Master Roshi LR, and then we'll get like a really terrible summonable unit. But for the most part, we don't normally compare free-to-play to summonable. But yeah, this Gohan seems pretty good. Uh, the turn where you actually get this go off as well, um, he's going to be dropping a very nice attack stat with a guaranteed crit and then damage reduction. So it could be interesting to try them out in the harder content, but you just have to be aware, of course, on global in the current meta, very much all the harder content has AoEs, which he will not be good against. So let me know what you guys think down below. Did you get the easy A done? Um, obviously, prime battle grinds can be super annoying, but now that we have the bonus category and we have the power level update, I actually grinded up this, uh, an SA5 copy to get his free SA25, and it literally only took me like a couple of hours to get all 777 medals, which is a great change compared to how it usually is. I wish they would just drop prime battles with the category boost straight away, but it'll be interesting to see when the next one comes out even though they drop without the category boost, how good it will be to see the power level update thing where you can just get bonus medal drops and see how much quicker that makes it. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts about Gohan down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.